Hello and welcome to this look at how to calculate the pH of a mixture. This time we're going to be looking at strong acid, strong base. I'm going to use a five mark exam question to model the, the ideas on. So our question is up in the uh, yellow strip at the top. 20 centimetres cubed of 0 0.0800 moles per decimeter cubed NaOH is mixed with 80 centimetres cubed of 0 0.0600 moles per decimeter cubed HCl. And they want the pH of the resulting mixture. So when I'm explaining these types of problems, I always start by trying to get people to visualize, because I find it quite easy to, to, to get my head around it by visualizing my two samples. So I just found two pictures of uh, beakers, uh, one with more liquid and one with less liquid. So my sodium hydroxide, which is 20 centimeters cubed, is going to be the smaller amount, obviously, and the HCl with a larger volume is going to be 80 centimeters cubed. So the first thing to do is to work out the moles of each of the original samples before you mix them together. So doing N equals V times C gives you 0.0016 for your sodium hydroxide and 0.0048 for your HCl. So I'm going to borrow the ICE method from the equilibrium calculations to calculate moles after the reaction. So putting in the equation, you can see there's a one to one mole ratio um, between them. And our two initial values, you can pop them in there like that. And the change will be uh, what will happen when they react. So the sodium hydroxide will actually lose all of it because there's a larger amount of HCl than sodium hydroxide to start with. So sodium hydroxide is essentially behaving as the limiting reagent here. So what will happen with the HCl <clears throat> is you'll use up an equal amount of the sodium hydroxide. So basically, if you have 0 0.016 sodium, uh, moles of sodium hydroxide, that will use up an equal amount of the HCl. So what's left behind is 0 0.0032 moles. So remembering the position of equilibrium is completely to the right. So it's not really an equilibrium question this, but I'm using a technique that we use in equilibrium calculations. So the position of equilibrium will be completely to the right as it's a strong acid, strong base reaction. The number of moles of NaOH, like we said, is less than the number of moles of HCl, so all the sodium hydroxide is used up. So what we're going to do is use the 0.0032. So this is the remaining moles of HCl after the two liquids have been mixed. So remembering that HCl is a strong acid, it completely dissociates in aqueous solution. So therefore, the concentration of HCl can be assumed to be the same concentration as H+. So doing uh, C equals N over V, that gives us 0 0.0032 moles per decimeter cubed for our H plus after the two liquids have been mixed together. And putting that through the pH calculation gives us 1.49. Remember that the calculator value might be longer than this, so you need to round it to make sure it's two decimal places. This is the convention we use for pH. Okay, hopefully it's been a useful look at this five marker. Until next time, thanks for listening and see you soon.